Well, let's talk about the breast, breast tissue, lumps in the breast, uh, different types of breasts, and what, what women experience. Well, so women have all different kinds of breast tissue, and it's difficult for women because their breast tissue from one person to the next might be completely different. And breast tissue is meant to be lumpy bumpy. You know us doctors, we always describe things based on food, right? So I always say it's kind of like raisins in pudding. I just, it's going to have some soft areas, it's going to have some little lumpy bumpies, but what's normal is if things are soft and move, and they might be a little more dense in one area, but they should never never be very hard or super round or I always say like a frozen pea or a rock or I sometimes describe it as those little rubber balls you get out of the gumball machine yeah. that are real firm. That type of density is a little bit too much and I encourage my patients to bring that to me. But women have variations in their breast tissue and if they're doing some exams on themselves when they're in the shower, they're going to know what their breast tissue feels like and from month to month they'll kind of get used to the normal normal ebbs and flows of their breast tissue around the time of their menstrual cycle. Their breasts might be a little bigger, a little more tender, a little bit more lumpy. And after the menstrual cycle, things tend to calm down and they tend to be a little softer and a little bit looser. So is the best time to examine a breast after somebody's had the menstrual period? I usually encourage that at that yeah. time, but I am kind of of the mindset that if a woman knows her breast tissue at all times of her cycle, that's not a bad thing. So if a woman were to happen to feel some tenderness in her breast the week before her menstrual cycle and feels a lump or a bump, I encourage her to wait till after her menstrual cycle is over, see if that tenderness and that lumpy bumpiness went away. And if it did, that's probably a normal change for her. So what does a breast cancer feel like? Well, I've been doing this 20 years and believe it or not, because of mammography and screening, I haven't felt a ton of breast cancers, but I will tell you when I have felt them, there is nothing like it. Uh -huh. They do feel very dense, very hard. And in some circumstances, they're not mobile. They don't move. They feel kind of stuck. But there are some symptoms women definitely need to look for to allow them to know whether or not they need to be evaluated. There may be some other cause for those changes, but because they're associated with breast cancer, we definitely need them to come in and be evaluated if they have those symptoms. So what are those symptoms or things that they should look for that makes them suspicious? Well, so obviously if they have a new lump and they're not sure, I would encourage them to bring that to me. Um, you can just get some generalized swelling in the breast that sometimes is a symptom. Women can have inversion or their nipple will turn sort of inward. Why they, does that happen? Well, because there are little ligaments that hold the breast in place. And as the cancer grows into those ligaments and invades them, it will pull those Pulls ligaments in. in and that will pull the nipple inward. So any change in the nipple, I always encourage women to have them bring it in because sometimes it won't pull it inward, but it'll pull it off to the side. So if you're normally looking at yourself and you know what your how your nipples always say, do they point forward, do they point out to the side? If something changes with that, we definitely want to know. Bleeding from a nipple? Well, for sure, nipple discharge can be normal in a lactating woman or a woman who's had some, uh, who's breastfed her babies. But if you have never had nipple discharge and all of a sudden you start having it, that's a reason to still see a doctor. It's not always associated with a cancer, but certainly if it's bloody or or dark brown in color, we want to know about that for sure.